Hi, my name's Luke and I'm from Tegra Imports and this is my Honda NSX that I've built for the Pro Two Wheel Drive class and Time Attack. I'll show you a few things on the car. It's a Honda NSX, um, started life as a road car and then we've converted it into a, a Time Attack car. So throughout the seasons we've kind of evolved it more and more and gone up through the classes. Um, the class I'm in now is a pro class, so it still has to be a road car, but you can do things to it, hence the aero and, and everything else. How this is different to a race car is that the aero in time attack is far wider uh, and protrudes from the car more. As you can see from the great big wing on the back, you can never race with that because wheel to wheel contact, you'd, you could get yourself into a bit of a, a mess. Um, also obviously the side skirts and the front splitter to, to follow. In Time Attack, there's no uh, real regs on performance. So we've got a K22, a Bourne K22 engine um, with a Garrett turbo, a G30 770, and it makes 650 horsepower. It's got a Hollinger sequential gearbox, which we had to go with because the Honda K-Series engine, there isn't many gearboxes out there that can take that kind of power without having issues with gearboxes. So the Hollinger was the good choice for that. And then everything else on the car is, is as you do on a race car. So obviously the big brake kit, uh, all of the large rads for cooling, obviously the engine making that much power, it uh, likes to overheat. Um, we've got the yellow speed brakes, we've got nitron suspension, and then um, spherical, all of the bushes that we can, just to get the car to handle as, as well as it can. We're also in our class, we're against some other very light cars like Atoms and, and other things. So. Weight is a, a big goal for us, so we're constantly trying to save weight. We've got a carbon bonnet, um, small mirrors, obviously carbon rear, rear end of the car. So gradually bits on the car are getting lighter to, to keep us competitive. You might notice this slightly crazy wrap. Um, we've actually put this on because these rear quarters were new for this race meeting. They're actually um, the rear quarters we plan to use next year. So we thought uh, instead of full wrapping them, we'd put a camo wrap on them because it's a bit of a prototype kind of rear part of the car um, and you can see in the boot as well because we don't need to carry any shopping around we utilize the boot space to make the engine bay bigger so our charge coolers in there as well as our turbo and exhaust manifold so as you can see inside the car we've got the usual safety features a Takata harness and a Cobra ultralight seat um, something that's a bit unique to time attack is you have to have a passenger seat the rules don't specify what passenger seat, but you just need one. So obviously we went the lightest go-kart passenger seat we could find. Um, we use a Garmin Catalyst for lap timing and, and driver data. And then we've got a, an AIM dash and a life racing ECU to control the engine. You can see in the, the passenger foot, it's quite full. That's all of the air system for the um, pneumatic uh, gearbox, as well as we control our uh, blow off valve and wastegate with air from that as well. Thank you for checking out my Time Attack Honda NSX.